Hi TVS, welcome back to my next video. In this video, we are going to see about the checkout and billing, the last part of the API development. So where people can, the guest which we have registered and the orders which we have done, everything, the billing part, everything will be completed in this checkout portion. So without wasting time, let us start. So here we will not copy or paste any of the code right now. So because it's a unique concept right now. So anything like uh, copying done. So that's the reason so we, we need to write it from scratch so it may take some time surely you will learn so let's have checkout and build okay uh, public function checkout so in this checkout we need to have we need to get two to three values uh, no. so we will take some values three values we'll copy this inputs and also we'll paste it here and these three values are totally like user id so for from which we user uh, we need to we are getting it and then guest ID for which guest we are getting it uh, the checkout option so guest ID and also we require checkout date so this was the option which we miss, missed at the time of registering a guest checkout so next thing will be if they are empty or not to check these orders are empty or not so that we will according to it we will do the or perform the operation go operation like user ID then guest id also we need to check the checkout if this is done perfectly then if we have not received this we need to give an error stating that invalid please send us the all mandatory fields so that will be the part that's it if everything is done then here we go to our logic so logic is nothing but we will check whether these two things the this is null or not the which view the value which we have received okay so this is what we will check in the guest user id the guest id so guest check it is if dollar guest check num underscore rows if there there is any row with this then we will perform this operation otherwise we will tell them we will give a warning stating that this this guest is already checked out okay checkout has been done that's the reason checkout is not null okay so if there are number of rows if there if we find any rows now of this cache user id and the guest id then what we need to do we need here you go with the checkout it's not id the checkout so here you go if we find this row of this checkout then the first step what we need to do we need to add the date to our guest first of all so what to do that what we'll do dollar this db will be where oh my god let me copy it so that it will be very easy for us where this and this okay and we need to set it dollar this db set checkout checkout with that checkout value the checkout value which we have received right now so we will do a checkout function for him with this checkout okay after doing this checkout we need we also need to check out uh, many more places and also we need to update the room right so first of all we need to update the room then we will check out okay so guest id from this guest id we will get the room id right so let us get the room id dollar room details okay we will get room details i dollar guest guest check row underscore array so in this room details we will have the room details value and also the guest information everything we will have so what we need to do we need to uh, we need to first we need to we need to ch change the occupancy of the room and then we will check out and then we will go to food order food sections there we will again we will uh, do all the occupancies of uh, sorry the checkout values will be always set to one so those things we need to do so th there are three steps we need to do first we'll do the first step where we will check out we will change the occupancy of the room so this is how we will do the occupancy of the room so occupancy of the room can be uh, set to here i have occupancy we have already occupancy of the rooms so we have already this occupancies whenever the guest has deleted we what we have done we have changed the occupancy right here you go with the update the room we need to update our room so here you go with the occupancy we are setting the occupancy to zero right now he is checking out so occupancy of zero and the room details not room details it's guest details so guest details so guest details of that uh, room id where we'll set it we'll update the room 
room is now the room is now updated so now right now room is has, has been updated as well as our guest um, checkout has been updated now we need to update our food section so this is this is for the room let us not get confused this is for rooms and now we will do it for orders so orders what we will do we will uh, we'll have this dollar this db set uh, set checkout we will set this checkout to 1 because he is checking out uh, where uh, checkout will be done where the we have taken this let us see the order how we have taken the orders and all this is the order we have taken the room id uh, so that will be bet better for us so here we have the room id as well so so room id is the guest room id uh, guest room id where user is this and now we will have this as well okay update order nothing but update order uh, this is order now what we have done i have done this all checkout to be one in the one single update statement where this these things guest room with the room id as a reference and user id as a reference these two things as a reference we have set the orders and also we have checked out our dollar check out update we have checked out update okay check out update see it is out update we have taken of this uh, now check out is has been done if check out has done for successfully update has done successfully then we need to send some parameters to the uh, to our front end that stating that uh, billing details and all we will see here itself so what we need to do uh, check out before checking uh, we before check out update we need to take all how we will see uh, we will see here we will we need to get the guest details from this guest details we need to have uh, what we will do billing okay we need to get the billing details so billing will be done with the orders and the room with uh, orders which you have placed so let us get the orders dollar this db join okay i need to join orders okay orders where my room id of this will be orders uh, will be equal to guest id and also we need to join our room as well so that's the reason we need to take this room as well so there are many joins we need to write two joins first of all the order the order will be from the room id uh, order okay order dot room id where it is order dot room id will be equals to your uh, guest guest we are opening and also here also we will get some value so it takes some time let us till then let us have one more query as well we need to join room so room dot room id will be equals to guest g u e s t guest in this everything will be there guest dot room id here also room id for room the guest we have here so here is a guest with the room number room id is 6 so for this room id 6 how many orders are there i will get okay we are joining this so these all things i will be getting it here okay i'll get it here why not i have different kind of approach no it's okay for me but why it's not open it's taking next we want the room so room is nothing but the user id and the room id user id depending upon the user id we need to get it where the guest uh, room id user id room id room id the room id will be equal to the uh, room id of room so that i'll get this i'll get the orders from here okay i'm getting orders from here i am getting i am joining this all as well where clause i need to use of these two clauses i need to use this guest guest dot user id guest dot guest id okay these two things uh, we need to take it out and one more thing what we are expecting is we are taking that's it that's all we need to get guest billing is equals to dollar this db dollar result on. i don't know whether it will, it will work or not result underscore array because i am getting some confusion why with this order because this order and room id how it will be coming i can't un able to understand but i can make sure that this we have done already right these things we have done already so guest billing let us have this uh, at the if if it is checkout then here will we will have a response of status one with guest billing okay with status one else there will be a network error network error if we here you go with the network error this guest already checked out i'm hoping that this gives correct information but if it doesn't give then we need to think about it so that's all for this 
and let us go and let us check we need to give check out all the give the details for the time for testing so here you go with the checkout now by user id 2 i can't i don't know why it's not getting out okay so here you go with the user id like it's 2 second user and also we need to add some few new fields actually we need to add like guest id right guest id should be there and checkout checkout will be like so how is that format is let us see it's like six zero so this is all about checkout let us see how we are getting the response so this guest has already checked out we are getting so what will happen here is it means it's going here the guest has been already checked out why it has went out because it has not found any values with that guest and all so that's the reason so this is the error actually so now let us check for second one we've got data 8, eight with the, oh god it's like db it's okay here you go with let us see what guest id 1 roti and here is the rest id with again the chicken curry so we got different different items due to the join of one value this is the value due to this join we have received this error sorry for the disturbance this is the value what we can do this billing part but uh, we can take the orders separately we can have the order separately and we can, then we can uh, send this orders here like message uh, in this message we can give the guest details and then we'll give an orders which he has placed so those details will place separately so that this problem will not be arise okay so here you go with control x and here you go with control v with this and this this and this and here guest not billing it is orders guest uh, this is this is not billing only this is about the information about the guest and this will be the thing so this will be my guest next will be my orders orders order guest order ruler here guest orders okay this is the guest orders which we will be receive if it is empty we will get an empty value or if it is full then we will get it here you got this inside the orders you have received two orders for this guest so this information we can able to manipulate their guest id and all we are getting so much information here what i can do i can only have a selected one stating these these things are required and these these things are not required where i can tell here dollar this db select i can able to select just like order id quantity these things okay just select order dot all that's it that the thing i want i am looking at and remaining things i am not bothered about because i have already received at the top order id user id my id from which details we have got checkout to be now it has done as checkout to one for this particular user guest we have received. similarly we can receive all details if it is like checkout day we are doing in checkout only we are getting all the billing information so this is 30 quantity is 2 multiply if you multiply like 30 into 2 is 60 130 60 plus 130 so total bill can be created from here as well as here is the price with this price you need to add it this price i, I mean to tell it like 180 plus thousand those things cal price calculations can be done in the printer uh, roughly we have given ids uh, idea of this all thing right hope this all information helpful for you and we have successfully created our checkout function we have done it and if you have any wrong user ids and wrong guest and checkout value is still null then we need to set that why it's still null we have not updated we are not updating the checkout let us see so here you go with the check out orders rooms and checkout update set checkout to checkout yes we need to set the checkout to this set this checkout where this is the user id will be this where guest id will be this and next checkout update will be like dollar this db update guest so here you go now let us have this checkout is still null update check update is going wrong guest the checkout the checkout has been done so today the guest has already checked out okay so to retrieve the information okay so to retrieve this information if the dollar uh, guest has been checked out or not also we need to receive that information so you can always you can remove this and you can check and if it is null only then we are getting it otherwise we if you if i hide it right if i hide it then what will happen if he is already checked out then also we will get the retrieve the information this is the message this is the value of his checkout we are not adding actually we are just checking out so that the reason this is not at all required i think so okay this is not at all required. if again if we, if checkout function is functionality has been again recalled okay with 
differentiating the values different values then depending on those things the calculation will be done so that flexibility we can give it to the customer okay so that's the reason here you go with the check in date and check out date two dates if we minus it and then we will get the input so here you go with this sweet thing as many times if you want you can check out and can have the value order values and the guest details that's all for this video hope you have learned something about the apis of this hotel management now in my next videos we will you will be seeing how to create a login sign up login and forgot password and log out is three four things then we will go step by step by adding all the values and we will complete this video series thank you for watching this video have a nice day